Hi, my name is Nigel Palmer and I am the author of the book, The Regenerative Grower's Guide to Garden Amendments. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to capture indigenous microorganisms in your backyard. First, I'll show you how to prepare the trap, then how to set the trap, how to check the trap, and then finally the IMO1 that will then be used to make IMO2. So I'm about to capture indigenous microorganisms. And to do that, we need to set a trap. And so this is the material for the trap. First, I have three cups of cooked brown rice. And this brown rice is uh, mm, it's a little dry and uh, it's not wet. I use just a little bit less water than normal. Um, and here I have the box that I'm going to trap the indigenous microorganisms in. A cedar box. The box is a foot by eight and a half inches, three and a half inches deep. And so that's what I'm going to use to put the rice in. And then I'm going to put this wire mesh on top of it. And the reason for this is to keep uh, animals out, mostly raccoons around here. And I'm going to use these screws to seal the corners. And all I do is fold things over and stick the screw in there and give it a little tightening up and do that on all four corners and that will secure it. I'll put this in the soil such that the soil is just a little bit over the top. And then I will cover it with a cloth. And the reason for the cloth on the top is to keep the debris from getting in there. And also when I want to check it, I'm able to remove the top lightly and look inside and see what's going on inside to see how things are progressing. Okay, so let's do this. First, I'm going to add the three cups of cooked rice. I cooked the rice last night, so it's nice and cooled off and, and ready to go this morning. And there's lots of crevices and places that microorganisms might want to inhabit in there. Um, then I put the cover on and make sure that's good and taut. It doesn't have to go all the way. All it has to do is hold the netting in place. So that netting is on there pretty well, that's secure. And I'll take this whole thing, bury it in the soil so that the soil's just a little bit above the top, and then cover it, and then add leaf on top of that. And that is the trap that I'm going to use to catch local microorganisms. This is the spot I like to capture indigenous microorganisms from. You see the white mycelium Look at that, beautiful. Ah. That looks pretty good. So this is a nice hole for uh, capturing indigenous microorganisms. The hole's about the same depth as the box, and you can see there's uh, mycelium uh, already in this area. Um, and I'll put the box in and I'll cover it with a cloth to keep the dirt out. And I'll put that right back in there. And I'm going to cover it with the leaves. And the key is to remember where you put it. Use the soil to kind of hold things down a little bit. <clears throat> so I'll mark it with some sticks. And the trap is set. 
All right, so we're gonna take a look at, at this. We have it marked. Um, I always mark it, so I figure out where it is. We have it set up so that we can just move the towel. Let's to take a look in here, and we'll take a look. Oh, nice. We're looking at my box of IMO1, and this is day seven, I think. Seven or eight. It's relatively cold, and we're gonna see how things are going. And we have a nice box of fuzz there. Look at that, that's really nice. This box is just about full, and this is ready. Let's take a closer look. Look at that fuzz, that's nice. All right, I brought everything up to the house and got my scale and brown sugar and a bowl to mix in, so I'm all ready to make some IMO2. First, let's see what goes on underneath the screen. I'm taking the screws off to get the wire off. And we see a beautiful box. Beautiful. You can see slight gray discoloration. That's indicating that it's just, just past prime. And it's that white down in there that's just so beautiful. It's a beautiful box of IMO 1 ready for making IMO 2. I hope you enjoyed this short video. IMO 1 is a useful product for making IMO 2. That's about the only thing I've really used it for. So next video I'll make will be to show you how to make IMO2 from IMO1. Until next time.